Heaven on earth is a place that I've been The coffee is good and the company is sin And Lord, if I could show it Oh, then I would show it All that I see in the morning is you Falling apart is the nothing I can do Oh, Lord, if I could help it excitement of the Isle of Harris still itching off that bus I'm back over the lakes just um, came out last night in the van stayed on the shores of Ullswater Loch Ullswater and just chilled out if you have a look at my other channel camper van Andy's camper van I'll put a video well, I tried to do it today, but the internet was no good, so it didn't upload, but it'll be up. Just telling you what I did and what my plans are, man. So today, I'm going to go and do a wild camp up a hill. It's been a while, feeling it as well. I've lost a bit of that hill fitness I had. We're just on Harris, we weren't doing big long hikes. You can tell, mind. You soon lose it. There's only one way to get it back though. And that's to get back out and up. Whew. So yeah, I've been up here. The, the hill I'm aiming for, I haven't been up before. Whether I get to it or not, it's a different matter. I might settle for a different one. Because it does look rather steep and far away. But you know, I've got all day. The weather's amazing. You're coming to the lakes today, bring your sunscreen. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. Whew. Hard going, like this backpack weighs a ton, a metric ton. I weighed it back there. Yeah, so I'm over Ullswater. Ullswater Lock gets its name from the River Ull, which runs down the side of these little hills here and into the lock that's true well, anyway I'm going up there and beyond and oh, miles away miles away so we'll come back because I need to I need to breathe heavily <laughs> not on the camera though underestimated the hotness the heat of the weather it's tropical like it's really hot especially going up there with big pack on it's a steep hill this just looking there uh, you see the source of the river Ull the bottom bit the bottom bit where where the river comes down and joins is called a Zwater Z W A T A Zwater and that's where they get the name Ull Zwater see education is important Chill out because I'm sweating. Get back to the van. <laughs> no, I think my first goal, I'd, I'll see how I feel when I get up there. When I get up there, I'm going to make a decision. We join up again at the crossroads of Doom. So up there, Sheffield Pike, which I've camped on before. I've also climbed it three or four times. 
up there that way is Stybarrow Dodd, which I came up uh, a couple of, couple of weeks ago and I went up that way, just had the day pack on, tried running it but my god that bit right at the top is so steep I was almost sliding back down and the other way is there, Ray's, I've never been up Ray's before so that'll be a Wayne right ticked off if I can do it, it's so hot though but you know when you you know when you see a mountain and you think oh that looks really tough but when you're on it it's not so bad i think that's one of them ones i'm just looking at the i'm just looking at the uh, profile of it doesn't look that bad actually being used to the mountains you can tell you can tell when it's going to be gnarly or not and that's, that looks like a gentle i mean it still looks a long walk but it's not a great big steep one so i think i'll go for it newcastle were, um Newcastle were winning 2-1, then Leeds equalised and, and there's about 6 minutes left and the phone signal is gone No, I want to know the score, it was exciting uh, Anyway, I'm just having a rest I think this is called Sticks Pass So it's, it's like a it's like a 3 way crossroads You come up from there Up there to Stye Barrow And a couple of others uh, Great Dodd I think I ticked four win rates off when up there. You can do you can do Sheffield Pike on the way down, or on the way up, up to you. And then if you've got the energy, go up there at the rays. I don't know what these ones are yet. Have to find out. But yeah. It's very hot. I've only got about a litre of water left. So I'm gonna have to make that uh, stretch. There's a few few little streams coming out of the rocks. So I've been just been having a sip of that. If it's being filtered through the rocks, it's usually all right. I'll never be a hundred percent sure, like, but you know, I'm still here. Right, let's crack on. So I'll get the signal back for the score for the final score. Oh, I'll find myself in a right situation. So I've come down off there. The path just vanished, like, so I'll make my own path. I've got across this um, ravine of death, and then up there. And then up there, there's people coming down there. That's called Stang, and that's Rays behind it. Them mountains I was talking about over there, it's blooming, it's Katstikam and Hell Valley. How did I not know that? I should have guessed. Oh, wobbly rock. Oh. Always check to see if your rocks are wobbly. Great. Great boots. Anybody wondering? I think the last time I was out, I was on about getting new boots. I got the Innovate Rocklight GTX 345 or something. And I'll tell you what it is. They're really grippy. They're brilliant on mud and on rock like this. Oh <laughs> He's over. Hey. It was never in doubt. It was never in doubt. That is that is like worse than the Grand Canyon, that. Lovely. I might actually stop here and have a bit of a wash. Oh, that's Sheffield Pike. Came down there into the Grand Canyon. Come up here, this path. This is called the chimney. Anything with the word chimney in it, just avoid. Just look like the quickest way. <laughs> the quickest way, shortest way. Oh, these boots, these boots are so grippy. That man. Just rip, rip. Anyway, so we're going up there. Hopefully, it levels off, get a break. And then the big push onto Riz. Good walk, this like. Got all day. That's why I took the long way. Got all day. Not any rush at all. It's only three o'clock now. 
bit of a long walk this so I've come up the front of what I was saying about that is it's called the chimney I don't know why but when you get here there is an actual chimney disused no oh, this was for anybody what's it gonna look like with a chimney on a what oh pardon me <laughs> piglet just had a little sip of water there conserving water and I catch the cam and somebody dot right on top of it right still on the top I like catch the cam I'll come on that one day there is a couple of spaces you can get on hell of a little looking busy the sharp edge and striding edge there yeah uh, Swirl edge, not sharp edge. But I'm going up there. Hopefully everybody's coming down now, so I can chill out. Chill out at the top. I might have a little nap. Been a long busy day. I was up early this morning. Traffic keep me awake in, in the van. You put sound deadening in, but that just that stops the road noise. It doesn't stop the noise outside. Earplugs next time. Oh, so I'm just taking five here at the, the chimney. I'm gonna go up that path there, just up at the top. Apparently, it's a ski centre or something around here. I don't think. God, I can't think where. A ski tour must be over the other side. I'll have a look when I get up the top. Oh dear, right. What a day though. It's beautiful. Beautiful. You can see for miles. See this. Anybody familiar with this place? You'll know this. I wish it was working today, could have saved me so much effort. I'm sure I came up the hard way. <laughs> from right over there, you know. It's only four mile. Whew. Anyway. That's Rob. I miss misses us. And it's a ski lift, so I've only got about 30 meters to go to the top, and then I'm just gonna collapse. It's, it's the heat, the heat has drained you. This this bit over the back here was really steep as well. I'm sure there's an easier path than that. Oh, I can't wait to put this bag down. Look at this, oh, Don't it's been used in a while, is it? I didn't even know this was here. And I know everything. I do it now. Right, press on. Here we go. Raise. Raise summit. Trig point. Pile of stones. Turns out right. It's a path going down there. And then it goes off down there. That's the one I should have been on. And that goes right all the way back to the bottom of Sheffield Pike. So I'll take that one in the morning. Looks more straightforward. That, I mean, that was good. It was adventurous, but oh, it was hard. I would, I would suggest not heading up the chimney and instead taking the path. On the map, it's marked. It looks like it's miles away from the top, but when you get to the crossroads there, you just cut across. So much easier. But, you know... I don't do easy. I don't. I just don't. I said I don't. There's a uh, hell of a See, I'm at 2,800 odd feet here. Yeah, that's just it's a couple of hundred feet lower than that. Quite high up. Hellish high up. Look at the views. Skid on that over there. Bellin Cathra. You've got the, the Pennines over there. Cross Bell and that. So I can see the white ball of the weather station cross felt just to the left of it. That lake is Ullswater. The lock, sorry. And you've got Old High Street and that over there. Um, it's in Sunday Crag. There's a big lump. Catch the calm right in front of us there. And then the ridge, that's a Swirl Edge there. This one, Striding Edge is on the other side. There's loads of people on it. Phew! That's a tour of the mountains anyway. I'm gonna get the tent up and I'm gonna just flip and collapse in a heap. I can see a spot over there. Well, here we are. I've got the place to myself. 
don't think anybody come up here at this time because it's uh, it's quite remote. It's a good walk back, like three and a half mile back. Um, set up here. Set up here. All one word that. Set up here. Just in the shadow of Catsley Carm and Hellwallen. Just looking across. Got a problem, like midges. There's midges. I've got the flex tail gear, midge repellent, tiny repel at the door. I don't know if that's going to keep them off or not. We'll see. It doesn't suit me coming in. Oh, I might be just imagining that, like, I don't know. I'd have to sit there. I might be just imagining it, but I don't, they're just sitting outside, hovering about outside. They're not coming in the tent. Nah, I think I'm making that up. I was just lying. I was just lying in the grass before, and there was all manner of vermicious canids and snozwangers lying on us, landing. I was covered in flying things. <laughs> that's the that's the uh, what do you call it? That's the payoff, isn't it? Where the, when there's no wind, creatures. The wind's due to pick up, so that's why I've put the guy lanes out. Could do with a little breeze. Here I go. I'm complaining that there's no wind now. But there is a lot of midges. I may just have a bit of wander around on the top. I'll get my stuff put away. Whew, but uh, yeah, set up. I'm just gonna get my stuff in. I'm just taking a break from now. Put my stuff in. Bit overkill that tent. I was gonna bring the pre tents the wing, you know, that wing thing, that lightweight thing. I think that'll be out next time. If it's, all, if it's like this, that will be. That's far too much for these conditions too hot in there not to worry it's good airing out from the Scotland trip so I'll probably put it away for a bit unless the forecast's bad if the forecast's really windy it'll come if it's like this it's not coming right so I don't know there's a, there's a slight breeze coming over every so often which is helping Keeping them away. It's bearable. So I just keep my up anyway. There we go. I've got the lightweight rab summer bag, the solar eco 2. I've got the quilt down there. In case that's not enough. That should be though. Thermarest mat, I need a I need like a summer mat. Is overkill as well, isn't it? Or is it? I don't know. Um, I've got my Claris light. Which I'm loving. That flex tail thing. No idea if that's working or not. I really don't know. I'd like to think it is, like, but um, I'm spectacle. It's the breeze that's keeping them away. And because I've earned it right, I'm gonna have myself a bit of the old scoreboard. Oh, let's see, I don't look forward to this. We were doing this last week, I mean Rob, and apparently it, it does seem to work. <laughs> Stops it spraying everywhere. We're doing it with Bira Moretti, and mine was going all over the place. He was tapping his and it wasn't squirting out, so hmm, who knows. Anyway, here we go. Oh my god, that's nice. Still cold as well, we're buried right in the bottom of the bag. So it's still cold. Oh man, that's so nice that. As the gentleman himself said, good game, good game. Oh, right, I'm gonna turn this off and just kick back and enjoy. Evening's wearing on now. The weather's starting to change a bit, it's getting a bit um it's getting a little bit misty. There's a little bit of a breeze keeping the, the blight as away. As for as for that flex tail thing, right? I don't know. I don't know. I was sitting watching them and they were keeping away from it. 
We were gathered outside the door. That's them. We weren't coming in. So I don't know. I want to believe it works. I want to believe it. But I also don't want to mislead. I'm 50-50. I'm going to say, I'm going to say it was keeping some things away. I mean, the bigger ones, bigger flies were coming in, landing on the tent inside. I had to zip the, the mesh. But the midges, the midges didn't come in. They didn't come in. They stayed away from that thing. I wouldn't believe. Anyway, I'm going to have another beer. Oh, I'm tired. I had a little nap, I had a half an hour. I've got Craig Charles on now, anyway, just for a change. I have another beer. Then just chill out. It's still a lovely night. You can have burgers, great. I've got burgers there, I've got buns there, buns, I've got some cheese, cheese, little bit of cheese, 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 burgers, buns, beer, music, views, sunset, camp, done, microwave camp. Well, I've got uh, two burgers to have, boosh. I mean, you know, come on, it doesn't get much better than that. Burgers. Simple food, but filling, man. I just uh, pause that because you never know about these copyrights. So yeah, cheeseburger is nice. Handmade from Morrison's as well. They're lovely. They're heavy on the onions, but I don't mind that. Sun went down over there, or it's going down. It's not. It's not going to be a red sky. But yeah, it looks like everybody's clearing off. And then if it's somebody on hell, well, enough to trig point because that trig point's quite pointy isn't it I don't know but yeah that's it just gonna have these and enjoy the silence as Depeche Mode once said I've got me I've got the one wind quilt out because the temperature has really dropped you know when the temperature drops condensation that's the problem I can't believe it was red hot coming up I was Washing myself in the stream and everything. Now it's breezing. Put me, I've got my big fleece on. I don't normally bring the big fleece. It's just because I forgot everything else. But never mind. We'll not. We'll gloss over that. See, so yeah, I've got the the summer bag and the warm wind quilt, which I was using on Harris. It's really nice and cosy. I was taking it off at times because it was a little bit too warm. But it's good. <clears throat> so anyway, I'm gonna get stuck into these burgers now, they'll be ready. We'll see you later. <laughs> Little sheep over there. Having the best time of its life, it's running around like mad well, two of them. They're running crazy. <laughs> anyway, we've had the burgers. Now I'm just watching uh, uh it's not much of a sunset, is it? It's a bit hazy. A little bit hazy. Not that hazy. So tomorrow we'll be heading down there, down to the uh, there's like a cross cross section there, and then down that path, and then basically just down to the bottom of Sheffield Pike, and then down back to the van. So much easier than yarking up the bloody side of there, up the chimney. Keep away from the chimney. If you're coming up here, follow the path, right? You think. You get a Sheffield Pike and you think, oh no, that path takes you away from the um, race. It doesn't like, it brings you straight up to it. Well, this path brings you straight up to it. 
Ah, not to worry. It was a good workout. I needed it. I did. I needed a good workout. Still got my sunglasses on. I'm just desperately clinging on to the last of the sunshine. So, oh, a bit cold as well, actually. It's just turned really chilly. Don't be fooled by the sunshine during the day because at night time it gets cold. Right, so we're gonna go back to the tent, crack another beer, and then just chill out, really. Not much to do. That's why you come up, isn't it? You come up, go camping, and come out and you just relax, man. I know I like to say, I love music, you know, I like to hear the radio and all that, but that's all. Bit of social media, post, a couple of posts, just to let everybody know where you are. And that's it. Oh yeah, check the weather forecast as well. That's all I use the internet for. But it's on and off here, it's sketchy, so I'm not really enjoying it. Right, we're off. Morning. Now. Skylock's gone mad. It's been on the juniper berries. The weather's changed. It's a bit overcast now. Looks like it might rain actually. Um, wind's picked up. Uh, I said it would, didn't I? And it has. <clears throat> uh, that's it, really. Haven't seen anybody yet this morning. It's nearly nine o'clock. I would have quite a lie in. Well, I woke up early, but then I went back. I'm just going to have this cup of tea and then get packed away. Head down, head down that way that I was pointing out, not the way I came up. Oh. <laughs> Aye, that's it. Here we go. This rock here broke my knee twice. Um, maybe that one did as well. Just beware putting your floor on rocks if you, if you have to, like I did. Just remember where they are, like I didn't. Ooh, it hurts when you kneel on a rock like. So that's it. All tidied up, everything's put away. That was a nice uh, chilled out camp that last night. I just sat and stared at that. What a view. Imagine that's your view out your bedroom window. Hell Vellum, catch the camp. I'd have that like. So we're just gonna crest here and then go down that long path of doom. So I'll see if anything else happens, we'll bring you back. If not, we'll see you on the next one. Let's get up here. <clears throat> Destiny boat. Looking at it, Adam Nalik. I think I prefer my path of doom. But this is the other way anyway. This is Stickle Pass. Not I was saying down there was Stickle Pass, but it's up here. And then you just turn left to get the rays, and you can go on to Hellvalin from there. Or if you turn right, you go Sty Barrow. So yeah, this is it then. This is my phone farewell, so I'm gonna just concentrate. This is really steep coming down though, so that's not so bad. <laughs> 